welcome to my channel, Queen Sunbeam Tarot. I am back with another video, and in this video, we're going to be diving into what are you breaking free from, okay? Now, this video is going to be um, a little bit shorter than my normal videos, so keep that in mind. This is just something that I wanted to give to you guys really quickly, okay? Um, so yeah, with that being said, what I need for you to do is get calm, get relaxed, get into a nice vibe. That way you can be guided by your intuition when choosing between the three options that I have for you today. Once you are calm, take a look at your options. So for option number one, we have this labradorite stone. And for option number two, we have this arrowhead. For option number two and for option number three we have this stone right here once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you go ahead and click on the description box and then click on the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most drawn to and then i will see you at your pile selection if anything i say today resonates make sure you like this video comment down below and subscribe to join the sunstar family i would love to have you make sure when you subscribe you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video also check out my instagram and tiktok that information is down below as well as the information to donate to my channel it is not required but it is greatly appreciated so let's go ahead and get started with option number one hello option number one so if you chose the labradorite stone then this will be your reading ignore my nails okay <laughs> um let's go ahead and get started and see what you're letting go of okay okay what is option number one letting go of or breaking free from what is option number one letting go of or breaking free from? Oh, so, okay. So it says surrender the, the habit of people pleasing. You're breaking free from this habit or this energy of feeling like you always have to make other people happy and other people come first or before you and what you want and what you need. So you're breaking free from that. Okay. It says speak the can I talk today? Okay, it says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Yeah, like this is like a, a part of like your shadow side. I feel like, you know, always putting other people before yourself. And I feel like this is a very important thing that you're breaking free from because this is going to allow for you to create more happiness and joy into your life because you're doing what makes you happy and you're not worried about the next person. Because I think that what you should really ask yourself or what you may end up asking yourself is, would somebody give me the same energy? Would somebody do as much as I'm doing to make someone else happy? Would they do that for me? Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's see what we have with the tarot to add to this message. I have to say to add to this message what are you breaking free from option number one two of wands i don't know why with the two of wands i'm getting stalling stalling and i oh, i get why okay so they're explaining to me what this is about okay and i by the way i might look into look at myself and i might look into the camera so just roll with it <laughs> so with the two of wands here i feel like they're saying that you you know i feel like you you put a hold on your own needs right we're back to the people pleasing you put a hold onto your own needs and you do what you can to try to help control other people's lives right so i feel like maybe the people in your life are a little bit out of control in some way shape or form like a little bit toxic a little bit out of control to where they actually need your help you know they actually need you to do things for them all the time or there's some sort of energy there where it's like they need you to make decisions for them they need you to step up 
and that's taking a lot out of you it's taking a toll on you and i feel like that's why you need to break break away from it break free from it and that's why you will yeah look the two of wands is looking over at the people people pleasing card yeah it's like what do you need what do you need even though i have a date this afternoon what do you need <laughs> Even though I have a date with myself this afternoon, what do you need? I'll be there for you. I'll make it all better. <laughs> when in reality, you just need to take care of yourself and focus on your own needs sometimes. Hell, all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, let's get some more cards out here. Queen of Cups. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups coming out, what are you breaking free from? It's like, that. I think that you're very empathetic with this Queen of Cups. I think you're very nurturing. I feel like you have that mother-like energy and that's what's kind of keeping you in that people-pleasing energy as well, okay? That's what's kind of keeping you in that. Let me put this other person before me. Look, Page of Swords. Like you, you were learning how to kind of put yourself first. You've been learning how to put yourself first, put your own needs first, okay? And this could be like energies of the past with the Six of Cups. Could be energies of the past. Um, or this is something that you learned and adapted um, in childhood that that you really should be letting go of and that you will be breaking free from, okay? Let's get one more card for what you're breaking free from. Yeah. I feel like you're you're breaking free again from like those toxic energies, those those energies that really just kind of held you down and held you back. And this is going to allow for you to um, break into a whole new energy where you're able to play, have fun, and not take things so seriously. Okay, because I feel like things are always serious. You always have to fix a problem. The page source. You always have to learn how to fix a problem or fix a problem or you know put like it's like you're continuously using your mind to help other people or using you know your energy to help other people but again you're going to be learning how to choose yourself and make decisions that are that's going to be best for yourself okay so with surrender to play it says take a break from from, from overthinking a goal that as well so that is that as well you are breaking free from and we just talked about with that page of swords you continuously like thinking 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 uh of what you can do to solve a problem so take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation so that's what's going to be happening for you guys and what you're going to be breaking free from okay let's get another card all right look <laughs> okay so we have trusting tricksters the tricksters only power is your trust you are always free to withdraw it come on this is giving me energy vampires in your aura in your environment that's continuously using you and your energy and your empathetic ways how much you care and nurture for people how much you love people using that as a way to hurt you okay and lower your vibes because if you've been feeling depressed lately if, you, if you've been feeling down that's not the energy you're supposed to be vibing in you are a high vibe individual with positivity and optimism I'm not saying that you don't have bad days you're human but mostly you should be high vibe and if that's not the case, it's because something in your energy is really taking from you and really being that energetic vampire. Okay, so keep that in mind, but you're breaking free from the energetic vampires in your environment, in your aura, and you're finally learning how to choose yourself. Love that. So that's what I have for you, option number one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you in the next one. I am out. Peace. Hello, option number two. So if you chose this arrowhead right here, then this will be your reading. And again, excuse my nails. And I will be looking into the camera sometimes and looking at myself sometimes. So just bear with me. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with you and see what it is that you're breaking free from. 
What are you breaking free from? I'm going to pull some cards and then we'll get into it. What are you breaking free from? What are you guys breaking free from? Option number two. I just heard mental stagnation. Mental stagnation. That's interesting. So you've been stuck. You're breaking free from feeling stuck. Ten of swords in the reverse. Interesting. Yes. You're breaking free from depression. Love that. Yes. What are you breaking free from? Option number two. What are you breaking free from? One more card. What are you breaking free from? Ooh. One card. What are you breaking free from? Oh, I keep seeing the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like that stagnation, if things have been moving slow for, for you, I feel like that's what you're breaking free from. Oh, the Knight of Pentacles could also be a person as well. We have the High Priestess. Okay, I'm going to show you your card. So you have the Ace of Swords. So again, breaking free mentally. I feel like you're finding mental clarity, mental peace. And I definitely feel like if you've been going through depression, what you're breaking free from is that depression. Um... And you also have the high priestess. So I feel like any subconscious holds and blocks that may have been created by you, you know, because um, sometimes we have certain situations that happen that kind of, kind of, no, that really break us down and really hurt us. And then it kind of creates blockages because of the mental, um, like the mental words that we say to ourselves, like the things that we say to ourselves inside of our head that are negative. Sometimes we like repeat and repeat it, then we live it. So if you've been like dealing with that, that heaviness, it's like you're breaking free from it. You're no longer going to be doing that to yourself. You're freeing yourself. You're free. I just heard free your mind. <laughs> you're freeing your mind. Wow. I feel like you're breaking free from your mind, from your shadow as well. Look at that, surrendering the drama. So you're breaking free from the drama in your life. This is why you are no longer feeling depressed. You're creating boundaries as well, surrendering stubbornness. It's like wherever you were kind of um, not really allowing there to be flow, you're letting the flow in because you're no longer trying to be stuck and stagnant. It's like you're, there's, you're not going to be stubborn anymore. You're surrendering that. You're letting go. You're breaking free from that stubbornness that you may have been kind of like experiencing. Because it's like when you're frustrated, when you really going through it, you upset, you heartbroken, like you can like be like, you know what? F everything. I'm just going to stay in this energy. It's not like you're choosing to stay in this energy, but it's just like, this is what I feel. I can't pretend to be happy. Like, this is what's going on with me. Like, I can't deal with this. That's the kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of stubborn stubbornness that I'm feeling here. It's like, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't outthink this. I can't um, change my attitude. Da, 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 da. Like, I know I'm supposed to, but I can't do it. This is something. So I, I really get that. <laughs> I really get that. So you're finally going to be able to let it go. You're tapping into your solar plexus chakra and you're finding the willpower within to finally just break free of the drama and, and you know, people with stubborn energy. If the stubborn energy is coming from you, you're breaking free of, uh, breaking free of that. So with the surrender, surrender the drama card, it says no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And with surrender stubbornness, if you are tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like you're surrendering to the flow. You're like, the drama comes and you're just like, hello. <laughs> Uh, goodbye i'm not dealing with it i'm not i'm really not like i'm i'm not going to entertain it and i'm not going to allow it to take my energy and that is what the energy that you guys are kind of um adapting and this is allowing for you to break free of this negative hold that i see here yeah and you could be cutting ties you could be definitely cutting ties with those that just don't fit your energy anymore and that's okay 
yeah creative power so solar plexus and the sacral chakra i feel like you're surrendering um and allowing that um creative and uh sensual like what whatever it is that you truly feel you're just allowing it to be well like seriously if it's creative you're just allowing it okay so so we have creative power release your alchemical energy into the world yes birthing you're birthing a new you that's what's breaking free a new you I feel like this new you is really stepping into your power. Like there's, you're creating a new life for yourself. You're tapping into your manifestation power and you're no longer being trapped by those that wanna keep you stuck or the energy that wants to keep you stuck. Back in the deck, we have weeping wound. You are not your wounds. You're realizing that. Like, you are not your wounds. You can't allow for other people to control you with their negativity anymore. You're, you're really trying to let go of the past and let go of the pain. So that's what you're breaking free from. You're breaking free from those old wounds. And you're going to use those old wounds as um, tools or instruments, I just heard, to create. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Option number two. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure you subscribe. You hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace. Hello, option number three. So if you chose this stone right here then this will be your reading ignore my nails and i'll be looking here and i'll be looking there just bear with me <laughs> but this is the stone you chose so let's go ahead and see what you are breaking free from okay let's start with the tarot we have the tower okay then we have the hierophant wow Ooh. okay this is you're breaking free from something that you've learned <laughs> i just heard okay that doesn't agree with you so something that you've learned that does not agree with you that doesn't agree with who you are today this is something that you've learned maybe in childhood or just something that you've learned over time it doesn't agree with who you are today and you're breaking free from that it's like this whole system that you've learned you're cracking it you're breaking it it's crumbling down like this foundation um is basically something that you've learned and it's being destroyed it's being destroyed it could be that you learn to like hate yourself or you learn to like not trust yourself it could be that you learn to just or be like distrustful towards people it could be that you learn to learn this from a religion you know so just take it for how it resonates um but yeah let's see what else we have here so we got the six of wands okay if you hear any outside noise i apologize this is why i'm trying to go fast <laughs> so the six of wands oh okay so with the six of wands it makes sense so what you've learned is to not allow for yourself to fully shine like i feel like you've always kind of had to put your your feelings your energy on the back burner and be that um light for everybody else or you know what i'm saying like be that light for everybody else or be that um supporter for everybody else and what they have going on it's like maybe you've imagined that you can help someone get to a, a significant spot in their life where they get all the shine they get all the fame they get all the praise but you can never be that person to get the, the praise because that's just something that you've learned and picked up over time but that's that's you're breaking away from that because we do have the star in reverse okay it's like with the, oh my god with the star in reverse i'm just getting that I can shine too. I can be great too. Like, and I resonate with this energy because this is basically what I'm, I've been learning myself. Like, it's okay for me to shine. I can shine and other people can shine and we can all shine together. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of what you're breaking out of. You're breaking out of, I just heard the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. One stage in your life 
was just that stage. It's not something that's meant to be here forever. It was something to teach you certain things. Yeah, you may need it to learn that um, no one's really going to make you shine except for you. You know what I'm saying? Or no one's really going to recognize your shine until you recognize your shine, basically. So I feel like this is what's happening. Okay? Now, when I say shine, I'm just talking about you recognizing your own divinity. You recognizing how great you are, how worthy you are, your worth. So you're breaking free from this old system, this old foundation that you built that was basically you doing everything for other people, um, possibly living for other people and not really living in your truth and your own authenticity, okay? Take that for how it resonates. But you're no longer doing that and you're allowing yourself to be who you are just as you are and to live fully. This is what you're breaking free from or it's more like you're breaking out. It's like, okay, that song, I'm coming out. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so that's, that's basically what's happening. Like you guys are coming out, okay? <laughs> um, let's see what else we have here. What are you breaking free from? Surrender fear. Okay, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. Yes. So you're finally coming out. You're ready to shine. You're no longer um, holding on to this fear. You're breaking free from fear. And this fear could have been surrounding you being the person that shines. You having all of the attention. You could have had a fear of attention, um, fear of fame, fear of being in the spotlight well you're in the spotlight now baby okay and if not you're gonna you're making your way there you're making your way there you're learning something new okay and that's just how to be you and be okay with you being in the spotlight be, being okay with being attractive okay as well all right <laughs> it's kind of weird but okay all right surrender stress okay Take a few deep breaths. Ex yeah, you may have anxiety too. Okay, take a few few deep breaths. Ex exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So you're surrendering stress. You're breaking free from stress. Yeah, there was something that was really stressing you out. And this is, could have been like an old system. Like an old, a old system that you guys had. Or maybe an old routine old religion yeah but something you learned was stressing you out and keeping you in fear okay and now you're letting that go now you're letting that go you're breaking free from that you're not gonna allow fear and stress to hold you down break you down no longer no you're going to chase after your success and you're gonna watch it come to you because you're not being held down by your fears anymore. Let's get your final card. Final card for option number three. What are they breaking free from? What are they breaking free from? Ooh, we got enough. You ever seen that movie with um, Jennifer Lopez? You might need to watch it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have enough. It says you were born enough. Is that not what we was talking about, y'all? Is that not what we was talking about? You were born enough. Look at her wings. You are an angel, okay? You are an angel. I think that your heart is pure. I think that your heart is sweet and sensitive. And that's why you want everybody else to shine. But it's okay for you to shine too. It's okay. Because you're enough. You're enough. And I feel like your energy and people, other people being able to tap into your energy is going to help them some way somehow so it says distorted desire conscious desire really satisfies the unconscious need driving it yeah so i think that you were trying to chase a desire it's again i feel like this has something to do with the higher font trying to, to to chase a desire that you thought was yours but it wasn't i feel like it was other people again something you learned from other people that you were kind of just adapting and taking on as your own but it wasn't you it's, it wasn't authentic to you and who you are so you're letting that go and breaking free from that 
yeah look we've had a lot of cards jump out so we have distorted perceptions reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is ah see again back to that higher font come on now breaking free from that what you were raised to believe you're breaking free from that and that's okay it can be scary but it's okay no need to, no need to fear confusion growth hurts heals and harnesses a way through the uncertainty so you could be feeling very confused right now not really sure if this is okay, um, but it is. It's good to question things in life. It's good. It's good to question. It's, it's good to be unsure. That means that you're learning and you're growing and things are changing. So that's what I have for you. Option number three. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like. Comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. Hope to see you in the next one. I am out. Peace. <coughs>